Hey guys, it is Chrissy K. I am here with a review on this pattern blow dryer. I used it in today's wash and go. So if you want to know what I thought, um, what I used, how long it took me to do this wash and go, keep watching. Is an unboxing of this blow dryer that I have been waiting for. I'm so excited about it. And I got this little pattern mug that says hair care is self care because today is going to be a long day. And of course, I got the heat protector. I bought the bundle, but we're going to get to that in a second. I would also like to note that it is the weekend and normally I'll be at brunch, but since I'm creating content, we're going to have mimosas and I'm going to pretend like I'm at brunch with the girls right now, okay? So most of those mostly. I got this blood dryer, right? And to know me is to know that I love Tracy Ellis Ross. She's everything that I want to be. Like when I get that age, she's just amazing. I love her energy. I love her confidence and who she is. I love her brand. I love her products. I was so happy that her products were quality because I would have been very disappointed. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I have high standards for her, like in my head, like we know each other, but we don't, right? So this is a bundle, right? This was $189 and then this was $20. So it was $209. And it's a bundle, right? But baby, Tracy, I love you. I need you to hear me, sweetheart. That $209 ain't no bundle. Bundle mean discount. There is no discount here. Like this was literally like the same had I just added it to the cart as an extra. And then I saw the box of like everybody doing the unboxing. So I'm like, okay, you know what? At least I'm gonna get the cute little box. Nope. This is the same box that everybody else got. My wig is over there chilling in the background. I forgot to move, a, move her. So she's going to be hanging out with us today. Like, fuck it, you know? It's the set. It's a real movie. It's a set, y'all. Okay. It comes with the card, the new and exclusive pattern bro dryer. And four attachments. Our curls and curls can be anything they want them to be. And this, so cute. This top, like, breaks down everything that's in there. And then when you look in there, look at all these. I love the color. Like, as you can see, it matches what I like. I'm a very, like, neutral tone kind of a girl. Um, it's a long-lasting and durable motor. There's three heat and two speed settings. It allows up to six customized airflow. There's also a button for a cold shot. This is a high-performance dryer designed for curlies, coilies, and tight textures. Its ceramic coated grill reduces hot spots to ensure even heat distribution. It comes with four different attachments. That's the brush, that is the wide tooth comb, that is the concentrated nozzle, and that is the diffusers for the curl girls. It has a dual locking mechanism to ensure that the attachments are going to stay and not pop off. Um, it also can be used in more than one angle when you pop it off depending on how you like to hold your dryer and the filter is removable. The removable filter extends the life of the motor. I'm excited to try this. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do my hair. This is the Curl Smith um, Bond Rehab and I love this. I just came out of getting my hair straightened and trimmed and I just wanted to make sure my curls came back. Like I had it pressed for two weeks and then I had like a little U part with some leave out. This is what I do when I come out of a press. Other than that, I'm always gonna go to like Olaplex number three. I'm going to go wash my hair and I'm gonna come back and decide which route am I going? Am I going to like, am I gonna go big and blow my hair out or Am I going to do like, I don't want to do another regular wash and go because I literally just did a wash and go, but I want to compare and see, but I don't want the same thing. So I may do a wash and go and have some fun and play with some clip-ins because I haven't done clip-ins in a while. I'll think about it. I'm going to come back to y'all and let you know what's going to happen. Okay, so I'm back. Wigiana had to go. I was thinking about initially like blowing my hair out and blending into that because that's the you part, but I got to fix her. We're going to do something else. And... Because I started with the Curl Smith, I just made it a whole Curl Smith wash day. It's their co-wash and I used their like leave-in conditioner because those are everything. As far as for me, what I'm gonna do is I've decided that I'm gonna add some clip-ins. Like along my journey once upon a time, I used to wear clip-ins as I was transitioning and they've just been sitting. So we're gonna pull them out of retirement. 
And since my hair was kind of already like falling this way, we're just gonna keep that going. Because I want my hair to dry quick, I'm just gonna use the leave-in and the foam. Do this, I'm gonna apply the products to my hair. I'm gonna diffuse. Then after I diffuse, I'm gonna add them clip-ins in and see what it do. See if I still got it. I think I've been kind of scared of them because the only thing that sucks about clip-ins is like, you gotta put them in the right place or they look dumb. And it's been a while. And the last time I did it, it stressed me out, but I also had a lot less hair. So let's see how this goes. So I'm gonna get into this. I'm not gonna stress y'all with like making you watch this. Like if you wanna see how I do this, I'll link a video of me doing this, but you know, like it's not that deep. It's just my normal, how I do. So I'm being, I'm being very lazy this time with this because I'm gonna add in some clip-ins. Literally all I'm doing is adding in some leave-in. A little bit of foam. I'm brushing it out. I'm gonna brush it the way I want it to fall. And then I'm just gonna finger tangle it and let it fluff and let it take shape and do what it do now honestly for my hair when I um when I when I diffuse it I like to let the product sit on my hair for like 20 minutes at least because I want it to set I want the curls to set how they gonna be like I want to you know with my hair or whatever so and I feel like honestly let me find out this gonna work girl these washing goes gonna be way quicker Find out I was gonna add an extra for no reason. I also just got my hair cut again. I got a curly cut, um, I think in November. And then I got in beginning of February, like my um, my straighten and my trim. And my curly cut, like my ends was like, uh. And this is what I learned about the curly cut. I got the curly cut, it was okay. It looked good, but it didn't get all the ends. I had to straighten it first. And I'm not mad at this shape right now from just straightening it. So I think going forward, I'm not gonna do no more curly cuts. Like I'm just gonna straighten it quarterly and get my trims because this year I'm focusing on retaining my length because this was so quick. I probably spent five minutes getting here. And if I can get a five minute wash and go, baby, it's gonna be a life changer. So anyway, I'm gonna let this set and I will be back when I'm ready to dry. Okay, so I'm back. They've been able to sit and settle a little bit. So I'm gonna start the process of entering these clip-ins. I got these off Amazon, I'll link them below. They're still wet. Oh my God, it's been forever since I put in some clip-ins. Literally forever. All right, these is about the same length. So let's see. I decided to like, I guess put them in now when my hair is wet so I could, so I didn't have to do this all like I ain't have to do this more than once, if that makes sense. Mm. Actually, no. This is stressing me out. I'm gonna have to add these at the end. I got that just, hold on. Maybe I didn't do enough hair. Let me not, let me not. <laughs> let me not stress myself out like I'm about to. These just like give me anxiety. Do a row here, boom, boom. Ooh, I don't know. The dance new. Do another row. Uh-uh, it's giving, it's stressing me out. Actually, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do a little puff because I love me a puff. If this dry cute enough, I'll just do this, but I'm just, I'm gonna do the regular, <laughs> do the regular. All right, so there are 
three settings here and three settings here. So I'm gonna turn it to the middle one. I'm gonna turn it to the middle setting for both. Alexa, stop. Actually, I'm gonna turn on my countdown right now and I am going to, I'm gonna see how long it takes for me to dry my hair. Go to clock. We're starting at zero, so let's go. Alexa, stop. Okay, so it's feeling like someone right. And also that cool shot is not a cool shot. If you press um, this button right here, it's gonna be cool until you unpress it. So that just new. But I didn't put on a heat protection, hello. I'm gonna try this again. And I have the fan, I have the fan on one and this on two, but I'm gonna turn the fan up to two and on settings two. So plot twist, I started doing other stuff and I forgot, um, it's been about five minutes. It says 21 minutes now, so I'll say like five minutes ago I stopped and I went and changed my clothes and was on the phone. So it took me about like 16 minutes to get dry. Now that I'm dry, press this button, take this off and put on the nozzle so I can stretch my roots. Yep. And because I'm adding more heat, I'm going to use more heat protection. I like that. My hair pop right back. I don't know. That might be motivation for me to put more heat in my hair. But I'm trying to keep these curls. So I'm going to do less. So I'm going to start by stretching this back. Yo. I can definitely see the difference in the stretch. I actually feel like I need to give this side some more stretch. Alright, so I'm fully blown out. Gosh, I don't have as much uh, coverage as I would like because... Um, I didn't notice how it was going to do, but now I've already stretched. So, cause I stretched, going with my pattern pick, and I'm gonna stretch this out, make that real big, like how I like it. This too. I have more frizz than I would normally like, but you know what? I'm gonna rock with it. I feel like I'm giving Circle of Life Lion King right now with this hair, but let me just, you know, I don't know what to do with my little front bang because, you know, this is usually going forward, but. Start with the sides. A little edge control, and then I'm gonna add some gel. Pull out my little curl piece. Okay, I ain't gonna lie to you, I like this side a lot. I like what this is giving. <sighs> it's just like this right here, it's stressing me out. I don't want to work with what I got and see what I come up with. <laughs> I almost feel like I want to like push this back. I'm gonna add a bobby pin right here or something so it can make more sense in my head. Okay, I like this so much more. 
so much more so this is my finished look I, you know i fluffed it up i added some little curls to it because it was just like standing up straight and being weird couldn't handle it so i actually love my blow dryer it took me like 25 minutes 20 to 25 minutes between blow drying my hair and stretching it and i only used the leave-in and the mousse so i have a quick dry and i didn't even like really defined i just lazily like combed it out in sections and i actually love my hair like i'm feeling myself i'm feeling myself look at me outside feeling myself. so i'm just like it was a good investment and like i said with that cold button if you push that button it's gonna stay cold until you turn it off now i know the cool shot is mainly for straightening but i mean i was using it today i wanted to try it i felt like i like what's happening today i'm not giving like my typical like you know wash and go um this is different for me giving forehead typically like to hide that um but yeah i'm very satisfied i feel like it's well worth it i'm about to get a little thing in my bathroom so i can hang it up and little baby got somewhere to go she has a home i get to get rid of my other dryers so technically i get to clutter a little bit <laughs> But you know what? It's enough for me. Um, if you've tried the blow dryer, let me know. If you have any questions about the blow dryer, please feel free to just drop me a comment. Leave me a question in the comments. I'll definitely get back to you. If you guys want more hair content, more beauty content, because you know I'll beat this face today. If you want to see how I get looks like this, and if you want to know what I'm using, comment below. I'll tell you where you can find it. And um, make sure you subscribe, like my video. And with that said, you guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.